Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of heat rash or prickly heat. It's basically a goosebump looking itchy rash that you get usually when the temperature changes and it's like getting warmer so yeah i usually get it every year when it's like spring summer but usually i get it on my hands but this year i got it on my face so i'm going to show you how i got rid of it take some oats and you can just use any kind of oats you have i'm using oats so simple quaker oats and then you just want to get some natural yogurt and then you just want to mix them together in a bowl make a paste use something to put it on your face i'm using the back of a spoon so it's going to be really cold when you first put it on so the oats act as a natural exfoliant and it decreases your clogged pores it takes away those dead skin cells it also soothes the itching that you get from the rash so you can also use it if you have eczema and then the yogurt is the cooling sensation so it will calm your skin down and because it has lactic acid it also makes your skin really soft and that will get rid of the kind of crusty dry cornflakey feel so after you just apply it all over to your face you just want to wait until it dries it only takes about 20 minutes but sometimes i'll leave it on for like three hours so that i just wash it off with some warm water because my skin is super dry anyway and having a rash makes it even drier i like to moisturize after using this uh, remedy so i'll just take like a lump of coconut oil, raw coconut oil, massage it into my face and then I'll go to sleep with this so that it kind of um, sinks into my skin. So do not use coconut oil as your daily moisturizer because it can clog your pores but I only use it when I have actual like rash or dry skin or flakes on my face. Yeah so this is what it looked like before, really goosebump looking rashy, disgusting, so ugly. So after doing this treatment three times it's the rash is now completely gone and my skin is soft again. So yeah subscribe to my channel and and let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you later.